I uh, came in contact with a colleague that works at Western Illinois University and she told me we've got an old well on our property and I said well maybe we can uh, help you out and help us out at the same time. We wanted to do one of these uh, well ceilings. We haven't done one in a couple years and so I started the ball rolling. They're going to get their well sealed and we're going to get to do some kind of public outreach on the importance of keeping your groundwater protected. Uh, we're here to, to uh, educate the public on um, sealing abandoned wells, uh, which is very important, uh, not only as a safety aspect of uh, uh, somebody could potentially fall in a well, but also to protect the groundwater. So. On August 9, 2016, an old hand dug abandoned well was properly sealed in an urban area within the city of Macomb, Illinois. The McDonough County Groundwater Protection Education Committee organized the event and invited sanitarians from local county health departments and other organizations to participate as part of an educational demonstration. So, well actually three years ago to date we had a, a well seal on a, on a rural property that we did and uh, did the same thing, invited the public and, and uh, local health departments. Um, and I think Steve said he, they did one in 04. So there's been a, a history there that we've, we've opened this up to try to educate the public and again, uh, get information out uh, how important it is to seal abandoned wells. Abandoned wells are not just a rural thing that uh, all of these communities started with every homeowner having their own shallow well. This one I think they said is only 21 feet deep, right outside their back door. I mean, they had no idea it was there. Abandoned wells continue to cause loss of life, damage to equipment, injury to livestock, and contamination of groundwater throughout the United States. There needs to be a more national focus on properly sealing them. It is unknown how many abandoned wells exist today, but there are likely millions of these wells in the U.S. We probably abandon 60, 80 wells a year. I mean, not, not all board wells. I mean, board wells is probably 10% of that, but most of the time it's drilled wells. But in this situation, we get into probably a dozen of these a year, maybe. This abandoned well is being sealed according to the Illinois Well Code. The concrete well cover is removed to allow access to the well. The stagnant water is pumped out of the well so that it is dry and ready to be filled with clean limestone chips and bentonite clay. The well depth is measured to determine how much bentonite and limestone is needed. The Illinois Well Code requires staggered layers of bentonite and limestone chips every 5 to 7 feet. For other jurisdictions, local health departments or state agencies that regulate well construction should have more information on well sealing procedures. The well is disinfected with bleach along the sides to remove any bacterial contamination that could further enter the groundwater. For this 21 foot deep well, Layers of bentonite and clean limestone gravel are placed at appropriate intervals inside the well. Some bentonite is placed in the bottom of the well. Then a layer of clean limestone chips is placed inside the well, followed by a final layer of bentonite. The low permeability bentonite prevents water movement down the well bore. As the drillers get closer to the top, old bricks are removed from the upper area of the well casing. Every time we go out to drill a well, we notify the county where we're at. Uh, in Illinois, they'd like to have a 48-hour notice. Sometimes we can't get that in an emergency situation, but uh, we would notify them, and they inspect each driller once a year. Uh, we have three or four drillers with the company, so they, they want to know, okay, who's going out? Have we already inspected them? Uh, so sometimes if they've already inspected us and they have other things going, they might not stop out, but usually they'd stop out for like a grouting inspection at least, and then once a year they stay for the entire process. If the area was going to be seeded with grass, then the drillers would add a little bit of clay soil at the top. But since this is going to end up as a cemented porch, limestone chips will be added all the way to the surface. Usually they don't call until something's fell in. You know, the sidewalk gave way or the deck finally settled and, and something caved in and they realize it's there. I mean, unfortunately, sometimes it winds up a, a little bit of a, a trash collection point or, you know, and that's the big deal about getting unplugged before that happens. You know, just ch I would just encourage people if they come across a abandoned well that you know check with their local health department um, and uh, and definitely get them sealed.